Previously on Time Storm. Faro, Tibes, Torre Más Alta. I'm digging more into the Tibes clue. Here, I printed out what I found online. The Tibes Indigenous Ceremonial Center. I am the research captain. Forest. Find the largest slab where the arrowhead rests. You're trespassing on an excavation site. I'll keep them distracted. Search the big rock. That's gotta be the arrowhead Atabe wants us to find. La Punta de Flecha. Hmm. Nope. Definitely not taking it with me now. You found where the arrowhead rests. I even marked it on Janelli's map. It'll help us find it in 2018. Quest. Retrieve a guanine arrowhead in Ponce in 2018. Witness. Find. Remember. The hidden past seeks its dawn, showing us that we all belong. Horacio, Alexa, and Benny, take back time, find history in the time storm. Witness, find, remember. Go. Muddy, but good. We were on the right track with the ceremonial center. You were at Thebes? Yeah, except when we were there, it was an excavation site. What year? 1980. So, what'd you find? La Punta de Flecha de Guanin. A Guanin arrowhead stuck in a rock. Whoa, really? Guanin in the stone. That's epic. How'd you pull it out? Uh, we couldn't. It's still there. But I marked it on your map, Janelli, so it should be easy to find here in 2018. Sounds like we're going on another road trip. Janelli, you up for it or do you have to get back to New Jersey? I told my mom I wouldn't be home for lunch. I'll buy sandwiches for the road. Then we're headed to... Ponce. The Thieves Indigenous Ceremonial Center. It's cool how they can tell the age of the village based on the style of pottery they found here. Some parts of the center are just like I remember. The museum, the bates, Seccion Cerrada. Another closed section. Ay, so much damage from Hurricane Maria. Those huts weren't here in 1980. Makes sense. The guide in the museum said the boyos are replicas. And here are the bate courts. Imagine what it was like to gather around and listen to the stories of the village. This is where they performed aretos? Kind of like this. In, In the, the beginning, beginning only, only the, the goddess Atare existed. What's that? The beginning of the creation tale we heard back in the 15th century. Oh, right. The quest where you met the future cacique. <sighs> Must have been quite a thing to see. Hey, Benny. That stone past the railing is the one with the arrowhead stuck inside. Oh, that's the map I gave you. It came in handy. There aren't any groups around right now. Where are you two going? Be right back. Hey, Janelli, check out these petroglyphs carved into the rocks. Uh, where? I I've read so much about them. <laughs> Look at the sign. Está saliendo del parque. Guess we have to leave the park property to get it. Yeah. Hey, shoot, bird, get out of here. The guanine arrowhead. The bird was able to pry it loose. Look, it's in its beak. What is it with animals and guanine? No, don't fly away. <gasps> the arrowhead, <gasps> it's falling. Oh. oh, it's just behind the rock. <sighs> mm. I can just climb up 
and reach behind. Uh, whoa! Are you okay? I'm fine. I think if I just... Uh, 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 oh, I got it! You two find what you were looking for? Here it is. La punta de flecha de guanin. Whoa. We should probably leave before someone sees we have this. Good idea. Wait! I I think... I think you should give the guanin arrowhead to the museum. I'm sure one of the guides can turn it into the right person. We came here to retrieve this. That was the whole point of the trip. But it seems wrong. Doesn't it belong here? For other people to see and enjoy? The time storm sent us to get it. A bird had the arrowhead in its beak. It was about to fly off with it. And it would have ended up in some nest somewhere or lost in the Portuguese River. It's in your pocket, not in some nest. Trust us, this isn't our first quest. Oh, I almost forgot. You're King Arthur pulling out the guanin arrowhead in the stone, and I'm just a clueless friend. Hey, come on. We're a team, remember? Janelli is the amazing research captain. Yeah, well, maybe we don't need the research captain tagging along on quests. Benny? Tagging along? Is that what this is? <laughs> you can't run away like you always do. I'm not. I'm doing the right thing. I'm telling the museum about what you found. Hey, you two. Let me talk with Janelli a minute. Come on, Benny. Look at these petroglyphs. Yeah, okay. Janelli. I'm just trying to do what's right, of course. But turning over the arrowhead will create an alternate timeline. Alternate timeline? That's not in Take Back Time. Take Back Time is only part of the story. You see, giving the guanin to the museum would create a timeline with an alternate Alexa, Benny, Josie, and an alternate Janelli. That... That sounds complicated. I'm all for alternate universes and, like, games, you know? But this is... I know, I know, it's... it's a lot. Hey, I'm proud of you. For what? Questioning things. It's brave. Thanks. We should get going. Yeah, okay. Alexa, Benny... Hey, I'm... I'm sorry. Don't apologize. Yeah, if anything, I should apologize. <laughs> Research captain. Come on, time to get you all through the tapestry and back to Nork. I... I think maybe I should take a break from being research captain. Oh. Maybe I'll hang out more at the store in Newark, you know? Play games where my choices only affect what's on the table. Okay. So, I'll leave this research stuff here. Yeah, it'll be good to have. Super helpful. You know where to find us if you change your mind. Okay, Janelli? Uh-huh. Thanks. Locus. Josie? You think Janelli's taking a break because of me? It's new territory for her. I'm sure she'll be back. Okay. See you in Nork tomorrow, Josie? Yep. I'll teleport there by nine. Locus. Locus. <sighs> Those kids. I, I, I better clean up all these books. Hello? Hi. Sorry, we're not open for business. I see. Uh, where we're closed for renovations right now. I'm using the space to organize hurricane relief resources. Oh, uh, that's so great. Oh, is that why you're here? Because I've got pamphlets about food distribution and oh, all no, these no, other uh, things. Uh, no. Hi, I'm Kaylee. Josie. 
Oh, look at all of these books and papers about ruins and towers. And how fun. Can I help you with something? Just getting a sense of the neighborhood. I bought the building next door. Oh, really? Uh, what are you going to do with it? Oh, it's going to be a community center. And you're running it? Yes. Uh, but I just hired my first employee. Really sweet guy, Lalo Suarez. Ah, Lalo. He's one of the volunteers who helps distribute these flyers. Mm-hmm. Sweet guy. Oh, Lalo's great. And he knows so much about old San Juan. Ah, oh, I really do love all the narrow streets and the original architecture. Colonial architecture. There were structures here before the Spanish ones. Oh, right. <laughs> to be home. And I can smell dinner. It's been a while since that sandwich. Janelli acts like it's our idea to take the arrowhead. Like we were some kind of pirates or something. But it wasn't even on the center's property. It was pretty close. Fine. Why don't you tell Horacio that you want to give La Punta de Flecha de Guanin to the museum? What's this transmission at the bay? Benny triggered it by saying your name. Hey, that's not what I meant. Here, take the arrowhead. Wait a minute. Do you have the arrowhead? Uh, it's in your pocket. Except it isn't. What's this? They've lost the artifact? This isn't funny, Benny. I'm not joking. It seems the young humans have indeed lost the object. How will it get it back? We should retrace our steps. What? Now? Here they are, Clara. Hey, you two. Dinner's ready. Pero, ¿qué pasa? Uh, we forgot... An important game piece. I'm sure Josie and Datu will keep it safe. Just call and let them know. Yeah, we'll call Josie right now. Then get your butts to the dinner table. Okay, Ma. <laughs> <sighs> I wish the twins were excited about our trip to Puerto Rico next week. Seems like it isn't on their minds at all. I'm sure they'll be excited once we're on our way. I know it's different for them, growing up here in New Jersey. I just want them to feel connected to our culture. They will, Clara. In their own way, in their own time. Oh, it's going straight to her voicemail. Okay, then you leave a message. I'll text her too. Uh, Josie? We lost the, uh, souvenir please from our trip look today, so in the please car check the and car at and the, the store. store. Whoopsie! Nice. Sorry about that. I swept earlier today. Oh, no, 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 no. I just, I dropped my key. Ooh, don't want to lose that. <laughs> oh, definitely not. So nice to meet you, Josie. A pleasure. Kelly. Kaylee. Kaylee. <laughs> Welcome to the neighborhood. Thanks. Oh, an arrowhead. Wonder what this is worth. This episode was written by Andrew Cianes de la O, with additional writing, story, and direction by me, Dania Ramos, sound design, and original music by Michael Aquino. The role of Alexa Ventura was played by Leilani Figueroa. Benny Ventura was played by Claudio Venancio. Josie was played by Angelica Uviera. Janelli was played by Frances Ramos. Horacio Mendez was played by Orlando Seguera. Atavi was played by Alicia Rivas. Kaylee was played by Kate Hernandez. Clara was played by Jenica Carmona. Ramiro was played by Walter F. Rodriguez. The guest musician was William Ruiz. Time Storm is produced by Cocotazo Media and is a proud member of Tracks from PRX. Support for Tracks comes from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. Learn more at trax.fm. All episodes of Time Storm are available at 
timestormseries.com and on all podcast apps. If you enjoy the show, please share it with two friends. Timestorm is produced in Essex County, New Jersey, which is situated on the traditional territory of the Lenny Lenape people. As always, thanks for listening.